need water right over there, folks. Help yourself. We leave as soon as I get the horses watered. Water. Just the thought of it makes me sick. Uh, anybody care for a swallow? George, as usual, it's just you and me. What a beautiful sight. Even in death, it's beautiful. Shall we pay our respects? to a dead soldier, huh? Move. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Well, all right, folks, let's get started. Well, I was told it emptied out in the gold rush of 49. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to report this to the sheriff in the next town. You ain't going to do nothing, mister. If this is private property, I didn't know anything about it. We just stopped for water. We were just fixing to leave, so if you'll put those guns away, we'll go. Oh, that nice round body of yours ain't going no place before I tell it. There's no need to talk like that to a lady. If this is a hold up, why don't you take our money and let us go? Oh, that's mighty big talk for a year. Now you just simmer down, boy, and listen to Pop before I blow a hole clean through you. Now we're all going out to that stagecoach like ladies and gentlemen. That way nobody ain't hurt for the time being. You heard what Papa said. Get. Just because you look like a pig, you don't have to act like one. <laughs> you killed George. You no good murderer. Now, why'd you do that? You know it ain't proper hitting old man. Oh, he's loco. He calls the bottle George. He talks like it's human. It's more human than you. It has an understanding which you don't have. My old man's just like you, except he called his bottle old Jeff. When he was swigged, he was the finest pa ever lived. <laughs> What's your name? Ben Avery. Well, my pleasure, Ben. If you're anything like my pa, you've got another George staked out in the coach, haven't you? Yeah. Well, go get him. Get Bear down here. You'll get the luggage down. Well, 
Look what we got here. Hey, Bear, Papa wants you. Papa! Boys, turn the stage over inside. You got no right to do that. That stage coach belongs to me, mister. Ain't that what you had in mind? Bear! There's a rider about half a mile from here, heading this way. Simmons, get the folks in the saloon, keep them quiet. Brown, Mark, get those horses in the barn. You get back to the rock, Crandall. Come on with me. Pick up your bag, you can move. Let's go. Come on, come on. Yeah, but, uh, let's go. Papa. My, you sure done up fine. How come you don't carry a gun to protect that fine pretty side back then? I figured I'd never run into anyone big enough to take it away from me. Oh, that's brave. Mighty foolish. Don't you know there are bad folks in these parts? There's bad folks everywhere. I've got $200 and some grub. You want it, it's yours. I just want to get on my way to San Francisco. Ain't he generous? Too bad a fine gentleman like you ain't gonna visit that exciting city. But then, I don't figure you'd fit in anyway. With all them freeloaders and, and, and wicked women floating about. Thanks for the advice. I'll try to avoid them. So if you'll step aside, I'll get back. <laughs> I see you've got good ears, too. So listen close. I say, just turn yourself around and walk into that saloon. What do you say? Sure thing he won't be here today anymore. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, but tomorrow we're gonna need every gun we got, ain't we? Yeah. Something on your mind? It sure is. With Duncan and Simmons guarding the folks down at the saloon, we'll need every gun we got. We'll only have five. Mm. I figure this job will take seven guns. That's what we're gonna have. Now, who's gonna guard them? Good Lord. Because they're gonna be dead. You're gonna kill them in cold blood? You got a better way? No. It don't seem right. Killing folks for no reason. What about that party we're waiting for? You gonna shake their hands? You know me better than that. I'm gonna kill them dead, as many as I can. And I got a good reason for that. Then let me give you a reason for getting rid of them folks in the saloon. With their eyes closed, they could paint a picture of us right down to the hair in your chest. And between here and where we're going, there are a lot of lawmen. They'll have us dancing off of a rope before we get 50 miles. I ain't afraid of dying. But the thought of dying rich makes me sick to my stomach. Hmm. Huh? Come on, get off your fat. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, everything makes sense, except in those little black crosses the side of the Mexican border. Maybe it's water. Nah, them marks ain't water. Uh, everybody stand back. Don't you believe me, boy? 
I told you I'd blow a hole clean through you if you didn't simmer down. Now get up and stop ah. showing off. Tell me something. If I was hurt like that, would you tear off a piece of that pretty petticoat for me? I'm talking to you. Why, you... I'm gonna kill you slow. Now, you hold off. You had it coming to you. You got no right slapping a lady. Yes, Pop. Hey, I'm bleeding real bad. Naturally. When you get shot, you bleed. I'm a shade disappointed in you. What you doing sitting with your mouth open? Counting your money? You should have had that boy dead. What's the use of cleaning your guns if you don't use them at the right time? And you two should have been by my side. Now, I trust you all won't uh, let me down like this when the real fireworks start. What's the real fireworks? Should I tell them, boys? What for? Because I'm proud of what I thunk up for us to do, and I think this gentleman here is a kind of appreciate our little plan. Sounds like a holdup. Now, don't go taking my fun away. You want me to tell you, don't you? I'm listening. Six days ago, a gold shipment left Carson City by wagon train headed this way. And since this is the only water hole within 50 miles, they gotta pay us a visit. And the trail below blocks them in for a perfect ambush. That's right. They won't know what hit them. And that's real merciful, ain't it? What are you holding us for? We can't stop you from robbing the wagon train. Oh, that's for sure. But on the other hand, we can't stop you from talking, telling the law what we look like. You understand my predicament, don't you? Listen, mister, I'm a rich man. If you let me go and give me a horse, I'll give you $10,000. You got $10,000 <laughs> on you, mister? No, but I'll send it to you. I'll give you my word. Any man got $10,000 on one lump ain't got no word. <laughs> you gonna say that about us when we get rich? Of course I am. You ain't no good, Papa. You're as no good as the rest of us. Your word ain't worth a shiny penny. <laughs> I feel real bad about you, Ben. Well, what's the use of suffering? Why don't you let me go? No. You can't be trusted now throwing that bottle like you did. You shouldn't have done that. I had a weak spot for you. Now nah, there ain't nothing. You're just like the rest of them. So it boils down to one thing. You're gonna kill us all. Well, wouldn't you? There's nothing else for us to do. Look, I didn't ask you to come here. You talk like I'm to blame. And that ain't fair, mister. And after you get the gold, you go south to Mexico? Then's my plan. But don't you fret. You got to the gold shipment. Then, well, that's life. Boys, I think it'd be cozy nice if we gave the folks a little privacy. And in return, just stay put, because there'll be an iron on you wherever you want to go. You get my point, though. Are you out of your mind, you crazy fool? What the hell? Who's out of here? Rip off another piece of your petticoat. Get another bottle. Here, grab a second. Come on, give me a hand. Come on, give me a hand. He could take it. This way, it's easier on him and me. Come on, he's bleeding real bad. Swap faster. I can't see. Maybe the driver better help me if you can. Don't worry about me. I've seen worse. Peace with the world? I don't feel that way. I'm spitting at you like an old alley cat. How could you know what I was going to do? I've been around men. 
Long enough to know what they know, even before they think it. That's bad. Not in my line of work. Came in handy. It's not fair to jump anyone without giving them a chance. You made your point. You're a good teacher. I think maybe you're the kind of man that could teach a woman what not to do. That's very important. How well I know. The sad thing is, though, we're all experts with other people's troubles. And all the while, we're drowning in our own. I was going down for the third time when somebody threw me a rope. I thought I was safe, and here I am back in the water again. People should never make plans. I was on my way to get married. I used every trick I knew to get him. He's a lucky man. I will never make it. I'm kind of glad. You know why? A smart man never marries the past. It's the future he's interested in. I'd like to meet up with a man that doesn't like fresh flowers. If you could get out of this, would you still go to him? No. I'd go back home. I'd start all over again. And then maybe a man would kiss me, not for what was coming to him, but just, just because I like you. If we had more time, I could like you a lot. It's a good thing for you we haven't. Good evening, Mr. Kay. Yeah, it's nice out here, ain't it? I just love this cool desert breeze. How about digging up another blank for the lady? Oh, I'm for that. Where are you going to get it? I thought maybe you'd let me have yours. <laughs> See how wrong a man can be. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't ever go thinking for other folks. Get back in there. I want to talk to you. Papa's resting time. He don't want to talk to nobody. Now get you. You just don't scare easy, do you? Come on over and tell me what's on your mind. And give me that knife, mister. Remember those crosses on your map? Mm-hmm. You curious? Not particularly. Well, you should be. Because they're going to spell the death of you and your boys. Watch out for him, Papa. He's reaching for something. I sure am. I'm reaching to save your hide. All of you. Boy, ain't that neighborly. But why would you, a perfect stranger, want to do us a good deed? In order to save them, I'm forced to help you. What makes you think we need help? By the way you looked at your map in there. You know nothing about the country you're headed for. For a smart man, you sure slipped up. You're insulting me, mister. You better back up your big talk with facts and be quick about it. Blow his head off, Papa. I will, if you don't make sense. I'll start with the crosses first. They stand for one of the roughest mountain ranges in that part of the country. There's no way of going over them, but there is a way of going through them. And it's not on your map. Mm-hmm. You're making sense. Go on. Your horses will be carrying a lot of gold, which means you'll be doing a lot of walking. And that'll make you thirsty. And there's very little water. I can just see you fighting among yourselves for the little there is. And I don't have to tell you there's nothing as deceitful as a thirsty man. What are we listening to him for? Look at them clothes. What can he know about them parts of the country? You shut up. There's more to a man than his clothes. Mr. Trey, I believe you. <laughs> right from the very first, I knew you was the, the special gentleman. You had to be going about without no gun. Now, I ain't doubting you. But I'm curious to know how come you were so all-known about that part of Mexico. I worked with a circus. We traveled every border town. You see, I knew it was special. <laughs> I love circuses. When I was a little boy, I almost uh, ran away with one. But my pa caught me. What'd you do with the circus? Oh. Got yourself in trouble, huh? Well, we feel for you. Me and my boys, we understand. Now, tell me more. I'll take you and your boys into Mexico. In return, I want you to set my friends in there free. 
Right after the robbery. Well, what do you say, boys? I'm for the special gent. What do you say? He smells bad. I ain't going no place with him. How do we know you're telling the truth? You don't. I say Papa's the boss. If he says we go, we go. Thank you, boy. You got yourself a deal. Good. Now, let's get one thing straight. If they go free, we go on our way. On my word of honor. Papa, you're loco to make a deal with that guy. Him and his fancy duds. There's nothing I like about him. I don't get you, Papa. You said... I know just what I said. I said they'd give us away to the first lawman they met, and they would. That's why we're going to get rid of them all, except Mr. Trey, and then we're going to kill him dead as soon as he gets us to where we want to go. Now, what are you all fretting about? Well, Papa, you raised your right hand. Oh, that. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why some folks seem to think that if you raise your right hand and give your word means you're telling the truth. Besides, I'm left-handed. Hmm. Sleep on the porch. Oh, come on, you promised me. Look, I don't know. Now, why should we take the chance? They promised Trey they'd let us go. Well, sure, but what about him? Do you think it's fair to sit around here and let him die for us? You know what they'll do to him once they get him across the border? It's too risky. I'd go myself if I knew the way to the next town. Look, you said we could be out of here and back in four hours with help. You know, there's a big reward for saving that gold shipment. It's all yours. I won't take a penny of it. All right. But remember, I get it all. Well, take your hats off, boys. Ain't one of you gonna say something over the departed? May the Lord have mercy on your miserable soul for taking the lives of two innocent men. And I've got something to say, too. It ain't for them. It's to you. May you rot in purgatory as a fitting reward for your evil sins. And if I deserve anything decent, it's to live long enough to see you and your buzzards die hard. You stop cussing us, or I'll drop you right between them graves. Uh, 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 now, sacrilege talk like that will only buy you room and board with the devil himself. Don't you know it's sinful to word fight for two fresh jug graves? I'm sorry, Papa. Uh, and you? You smell up the whole world when you're sober. You're exactly like my pa. Now, let's stop going at each other and get down to important things. Now, knowing the country like you do, I want you to make out a list of special supplies you think we'll need on our trip. How long do you think it'll take? 
I'm taking you no place. Our deal is off. What are you gabbing about? I offered to help you in the return for the lives of five people. I only see three. You broke your word, so that relieves me of my obligation. You want me to prove it, don't? What about it, boy? You don't care nothing about your own life. What about your friends? Three's better than none. Living or dying is all the same to me. So you only got two to worry about. One. I'm with Ben. I'll admit I want to live pretty bad. But if the lady can stand up to a gun, so can I. You're in real trouble, mister. Yeah. Kind of looks that way, don't it? There. Why don't you take the young lady in the barn, see if you can't convince her to make Mr. Trey help us? Well, don't stand there like a Dayton boy. Take her. No. You got anything to say for Bear Lees? I'll go with you. Give me your right there. I knew you'd come around. You're one of them sickening kind of gentlemen who always takes his hat off when the lady passes. <laughs> and to see that you stay a gentleman. We're taking her with us on a trip. And it's your job to watch over here in case Mr. Trey gets any fancy ideas about letting us down. Now, come on. Let's get going and leave the dead be. <laughs> Rest in peace, my friend. See anything? Uh, there's a big nothing down there. Maybe they ain't coming. Oh, they're coming all right. I heard it myself from them cavalry soldiers in the saloon. Think I fed them whiskey for nothing? I don't know what's keeping them. Well, look, boy, I ain't driving that wagon train. They got caught in a wash. There's rain clouds out there. I don't like this waiting any more than you do, but we gotta wait, so we might as well do it with a smile. Huh? Boy, you sure got away with you. Here we are, all feisty, and a few words from you, and everything's okay. Ah, uh, it's the general's job to keep the soldiers happy. Hmm. Keep an eye, boy. General's gonna handle himself a little soon. I'm dreaming about all that gold, how we're gonna spend it in Mexico. You sure got it made. Ain't no woman ever washed your shirt for me, except my mom. You give the right woman a kind word, and she'll wash a hundred shirts for you. I tried that. She not only took my shirt, she took my pants with all my money, and I ain't ever seen her since. Freddie Cora. You know, my heart really bleeds for you. Do you have to sit right on top of us? You know, it's fun listening. Oh, you go ahead and talk. I won't butt in. I'd expect Bear to be breathing down our necks all the time. But I'm sure surprised at you. Oh, now, don't go matching me with Bear. I got bringing up. So why don't you show it? Look, I can't leave you two alone. Papa bust me one. We're not asking you to leave us alone. We're just asking you not to sit so close. Oh, it's about as far as I can go. Help any? Thanks a heap. I've seen a lot of brave men. But I never saw anybody stand up to a gun the way you did. I'm not brave. Believe me, I'm not. Don't get mixed up with me. Why? I'm fighting a losing battle. If you're talking about the past, I can match anybody, day for day. Did you ever kill a man? No. Well, I have. Do you want to talk about it? I worked in a circus. I had a sharpshooting act. Bill was my target. We got along fine until he got married. 
picked the wrong woman. She had eyes for everybody. He started to drink. That's when I should have let him go, but our actor's getting along so well, I, I stalled, and it's not easy to find somebody for that kind of work. Next night, she ran away with another man. I didn't know it. Bill must have been out of his mind. He moved right into my line of fire. I haven't touched a gun since. I, I can. I, I just can. I... Hey, that's a sad story. That reminds me of the first man I killed. He got in front of my gun, too. You know what you should have done? Should have gone right out and killed another one. Well, you're in big trouble. You can't get yourself to shoot, and you won't back down. Good gun bait. Why whip yourself? I'd put the blame where it rightfully belongs, on the wife, not you. I could let him go, he'd still be alive. And if I'd be a princess if my mother was a queen. You talk real big, but all you do is sit around and, and enjoy your suffering. You got a disease. You like to torment yourself. When you kissed me last night, you wiped away 10 years of hate. I guess it was just wishful thinking. Just another barroom hug for the gal in the fancy guards. Forgive me, lover, for hoping you are a new kind of man. Papa wants to see you. He's up there on the rock. Wasting your time. You're never gonna change. But I might. I'm gonna be a rich man any day now. Buy you some fancy garters with real diamonds on it. If you let me put them on. What do you say? If I said what I'd like to, you'd just shrivel up and die. Now, why don't you go away and quit spoiling this nice, fresh air? Get down and rest yourself up. All right, Papa. Here's what you wanted, Papa. We'll go tend the horses. Yeah. Don't stand there, boy. Come up and join me. I don't like folks standing over me. Sit down. Can you bring me that list? <laughs> you sure saw it. How long you hold a grudge? As long as you're alive. Oh, you're a hard man. Why don't you be like me? I just take things as they come. You take, all right. You take everything you can get your hands on. <laughs> I know what's eating you, that gal. You leave her here and I'll do anything you say. You want me to do you a favor? I don't do favors for nobody. Unless they do one for me. And you ain't done nothing. Nobody ever done anything for me. When they do something, I'm the first to show my appreciation. Me more sick than a slimy snake. What do they have to be? What good are they? What good are you? You keep talking like that, and I'll put you away for keeps. You want to try it again? I, I didn't try. If I tried, you'd had a hole in your head. I thought you were throwing that rock at me. Why'd you do that? 
I wasn't for you. Oh, I know. You want me to be beholden to you, don't you? I wasn't thinking of anything. I saw a snake. A man was in trouble. Well, mister, for my money, you just earned that favor you're asking. Gal goes free. I heard shot. Something wrong, Papa? Nothing wrong. I just shot me a dirty old snake. Here's my business. Now, big as you are, I'll cut you down. I say trade Liz. We need it. And I say first chance I get him, we'll blow his head off. Why don't you knock it off instead? That way you can have your fun. We keep trade. What do you say? Huh? I'll tear him and have him feed him to the buzzers. Looks like we're going to have some doings, boy. What do you say? Don't. He'll kill you. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This ain't no place for a fight. Sand will get in your eyes. Let's go down on the street where you can bash each other like gentlemen. Huh? Come on. Now, come on. Come on, let's go. right through his pants. Papa. Papa. Gotta help me. Papa, you gotta do something for me. Gotta help me. Sure, boy. Why you look at me like that for? Horse breaks his leg. You shoot him, don't you? It's the least I could do for a suffering friend. Now, cheer up. With their gun, that means more gold for all of us, and I'm sure that'll ease your mourning. Dig him a nice grave for you. I'm gonna rustle this up some food. I'm hungry. Now you get everything on this. You boys come back with a smell of whiskey on your breath, Papa's gonna blow your head off. What's wrong about one little drink? Nothing except one drink is an invite to another. First thing you know, everybody in Creek City will know we're holding up here, waiting for that gold haul. I can hold my liquor as good as the next man. Mm. That's what them cavalry soldiers thought, too. But they kept yapping all over the place about the gold they're going to protect. Now, I want you to go out the back way. No need for everybody to know we're short two guns. I figure we'll be back by daylight tomorrow. I figure you'll be back before that. I'll see that you do. Come on, come on. How's your hand? Not too bad. I guess you know how awful I feel. I... I know. Look, don't shot me. At least let me tell you how, how sorry I am for the way I talked to you at the water hole. You got it. I have. We're all jumpy. People in trouble are apt to say anything. That's no excuse for me. I seem to think so. 
I'd met a lot of men, some good and some bad. But you were way out in front. I'm glad I'm going along with you. You know, we might get lucky and get out of this. But even if we don't, we've had some time together. You do like me a little, don't you? You should have more confidence. I like you a lot. I'm glad you said that. Now I know that everything will work out just the way we want it to. <laughs> like you said, we're all edgy, especially Quillen. Maybe when he gets to Mexico and he's safe with the money, he'll, he'll let us go. I wouldn't depend on him. Don't try to figure Quillen. Don't try to figure anybody. Ali, give me a hand. See if it needs more saw. It'll do. <laughs> That's just like a woman. If they make it, it's great. And if they don't, ain't fit for eating. All right, it's great. Best food I ever tasted after a dip. <laughs> now you're talking the way I want to hear it, even if you don't mean it. <laughs> well, if I have to say so myself, and I will, there ain't no better cook in these parts. <laughs> There's lots of good tricks to cooking. I'd be willing to share them with you if you're coming with us. What are you talking about? Didn't Trey tell you? Tell me what? You ain't coming. Trey and me made a, made a deal. <laughs> That's the way he wanted it. Come get it, boys. I'm going up a Prandle to eat with him. You knew all along I wasn't going with you, and yet you, you just let me babble away like an idiot. Why? Because I want you to live. We'll be going through rough country. You'd never make it. Alone, I might be able to stand a chance. I want you to go on to San Francisco. If I make it, I'll meet you there. If you make it, don't bother. If you don't want me with you now, you don't want me at all. You wouldn't stand a chance. I thought this was my only chance. Dish out my food all the way to Mexico. I wish I was. But it seems that Trey and Clellan made a deal. Looks like I'll be staying here and he'll be keeping you company. Who told you? Clellan. Well, he never said nothing to us. Why should he? You don't mean nothing to him. None of you do. Look what he did to Bear. How do you know he won't do the same thing to you after he gets the gold? You shut up. Well, wait a minute. Let her talk. I think you've said enough. I don't care what you think. Papa wants to see you up on the rock. Wants to talk to you. We want to talk to him too, don't we, Duncan? Get up on the porch for the rest of them. Go on. Why did you rile them? If these maniacs turn on each other, they'll kill all of us. What are you trying to do? Get out of this mess my own way. That's a lie, and you know it. All you're trying to do is strike back at me because you think I let you down. Well, haven't you? You knew I wanted to go with you. What you want and what I want now isn't possible. So face up to it. Every word I've said is the truth. You still don't believe me? No, I don't. What's the matter, boys? My cooking sour your bellies? It ain't your cooking. It's the way you've been acting lately. Huh? Yeah, how come you're letting the girl go? I thought we was gonna use her to hold Trey in line. Or don't he need holding anymore? You know what I think? What you think stinks? Don't you ever come up at me like this. I'm Papa, and I decide what's best for all of us. Unless you're... think you're big enough to change all that. And I don't think you are. Where the two of you are sitting there fidgeting. Uh, anything else? How come you're letting Crandall down to guard the folks? You said yourself you ain't too good a shot. That's what I said. Well, why didn't you send Brown and Marsh? They had time enough to sleep. They sure did. They slept their fill and they're gone. <laughs> oh, poor boy. You just don't use your heads. I sent them off to get our supplies. 
Didn't want to say anything in front of the others. Might get brave. Because we only have four guns instead of six. Now, Brown and Marsh will be back tonight with good things for us to eat. Now, you ain't again that, are you? You should have told us. Maybe, but I didn't feel like it. I know you won't hold it again me if I give you a big surprise in return for your disappointment in me. Take a good look out there. Hey, they're coming. It's the wagon train. Hey, it's them, all right. About 15 miles away. Yeah. Well, the sun's setting awful fast. Yeah, I'll have to stop for the night. Hey, they ought to hit our pass about noon tomorrow. Now, you boys are suddenly happy. That's the way I want to see you, though. Because this time tomorrow, we'll be heading for Mexico. Go tell Crandall the good news. You'll be disappointed and see it first, but that's why I hate it. Simmons, you want to stand guard tonight? I know you've been on your feet for quite a spell. Don't well, worry about me. I feel good. And we'll get ourselves a little shut eye and we're leaving in a few hours. But don't forget, no shooting. Sounds carried too far in the desert. We can't risk it. And watch that tree. He's smart and sneaky. You yeah, don't bother me none. He's yellow belly about a gun. What are you yapping about, boy? I heard him and the girl talk. He put one under and he can't live it down. I don't care what you heard. Don't put him in the middle of the deck. He's a top card. Ain't that right, Pop? That's right. Crandall! Bring our friends in, will you? I got a little something to tell you. Looks like tomorrow's gonna be the day. No, I ain't warning you. I'm telling you. Me and my boy is a little nervous about being short one guy. It's Bear I'm talking about. You remember. Now, if you just do as you're told, you might live out a long life. But if you don't, then I'm gonna have to uh, break my promise to Mr. Trey. I'm sure you don't want to do that. Now, you understand. Uh, any questions? You won't have to worry about them. Ah, I'm glad we understand each other. Now, would you like to take a look at the map? Seeing as we'll be on our way tomorrow, you might want to freshen up your mind. I know the way. You just make sure you keep your part of the bargain. You know I'm beholden to you. I've been known to break my word, but there ain't no man can say I don't return a favor. Now, you just make yourselves at home. Kind of because uh, Mr. Simmons here is going to keep you company. Let's go, boy. I want you folks to sit down where I can watch you. Let's go. Get over there. Come on. Come on. They're like little lambs. It'd make me happier if they was dead ones. With Bear gone and one gun to guard them, we're gonna be short-handed tomorrow. He's right, Papa. Five guns ain't the same as six. I can count, boy. But it's gonna be my way or no way at all. Besides, we don't need six guns. When men soldiers hit the bottom of that pass, it'd be like sitting ducks. <laughs> if we were sporting, gentlemen, we could knock them down with rocks. <laughs> so quit fretting. Right now, we should get ourselves some rest. Be ready for the big doings. I'm with you, Papa. Are you with me too, Duncan? Of course I am, Papa. Why? Well, for a... Quiet one, you've been doing a lot of yapping. Which makes me think you got something on your mind. Well, I have. I've been thinking about all that gold and the good living that comes from it. Well, you just keep on thinking of that living. It'll keep you from dying. Try to sleep. I can't sleep for thinking of those soldiers. I can't get them out of my thoughts either. If there was only some way that I could... Please, don't try anything. You'll only... Hey, you two. If you got anything to say, I want to hear it. I was just asking if she wanted a drink. Mind if I have one? Help yourself.
They're after me, of course. Where are you going? Just getting a couple glasses. Have a shot. You need it. What are you trying to do? Get me drunk? Since when could you get drunk on one drink? Ah, forget it. Just trying to be friendly. Thanks, Ben. That was a lifesaver. Leave it here and don't touch it anymore. Ain't nothing like it. Makes you feel like living when it goes down. Oh. Try and make it to the next town. You'll never make it. It'll be just like Middleton and the driver.
anybody in the right mind be riding at night? Maybe you got business to attend to, like us. Or maybe bad business. Could be coming from Mesa. Yeah. You sure could. to your post before Papa blows your head off. Look, I take one lousy drink. That lousy drink nearly cost us our lives. Papa's right. You stay. Maybe I do, but I ain't alone. How about Trey? Didn't you see the way Papa was loving it up with him after what he did? Yeah. I thought for sure he'd shoot him down right where he stood with Brown and Marsh bringing him in. No, he needs him. I just wonder how long he's gonna need us. Oh, he wouldn't do nothing to us. No? How about Bear? Once we get to go, what good are we to Papa? None at all, except to share it with him. Well, I ain't gonna share nothing with him. Except maybe one of my bullets. He'll have to beat me to the draw. Mind if we stretch a bit? Papa says you sit, so you sit. Unless you want me to drop you dead. Do you mind if we talk? I don't care what you do, as long as you don't move around. I told you to stay put. You're just gonna offer you a drink. Like you did Simmons? Now, don't edge into me, because I don't like you. I don't want nothing to do with you. Your papa's headache. Grab yourself some shade, boys. They just broke a wheel. This waiting's gonna kill me. Oh, don't think about the waiting, boy. Just think about all that shiny stuff. And them wagon trains, how those dead soldiers gonna hand it over just like we had it coming. Just we got a little time. Why don't you go see how Crandall's doing? You, Marsh, you're itchy. Nothing ugly or useless than an empty bottle. <laughs> Just look at it. A while ago, it was a living thing. How we doing, boy? Better than Simmons. What you doing here? Something go wrong? Nothing serious. That wagon train broke a wheel, so we're going to be delayed a little while. Just hold tight. Before high noon, we're going to be on our way, fat and rich as we can be.
Let's get out of here. get shot, please. Remember? Come on, Duncan. <laughs> the shot that got her was meant for you. Ben can help me. The quicker you get out there and help those soldiers, I... Oh! neighborly of you, but I'm going with Mr. Trey. Uh, Sergeant, do you by any chance have any liquid refreshment with you? You mean whiskey? We carry some in the wagon for medicinal purposes. Oh, there I go again. Maybe I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Guess I'd better take up your kind offer and go with you. I know just what you mean. There's nothing like a good drink for a bad heart. Ben's found himself in New George. Looks like I'll be traveling alone. Oh, you don't have to. I'd be pleased if you come along with us to San Francisco. I'll have a few days off and I'll show you around. I think you'd have more fun if I showed him around. Well, now, if I may say so, that's a better offer than the Army can give you. You may say so. Hey, Pearl! Hold up! Carry on! You heard the man. <laughs> 